In this video, we'll show you how to use the filter by formula field to fetch specific data from an Airtable table. So the first thing to note is that you can click here on find it here to be directed to Airtable's documentation, API documentation on the formula field reference. In our example, we will look at the search formula, which is right here in the API documentation. Depending on your use case, we can only invite you to go through Airtable's documentation to understand what their API expects you send as a query. So in our case, we are going to search for a car name in a car name field in our base, in our table. So what we have here is a list of vehicles, of car names in a column called car underscore name. And we have a formula that searches, that looks for the word folk or the letters folk, the string folk in the field car name. And it returns one if it's the case, Volkswagen. It returns nothing if it's not the case. For example, in Porsche Taycan 4S, there's no folk stream. So we don't really care about the result of the calculation. What we care about is this formula. And also what's important to note is that folk is in between quotes because it's a string, it's a text. The reason it's in between quotes is because in Airtable's documentation, we saw that it should be in between quotes. And then car name is not in between quote, but quotes because it's the field where we want to search. So when we type in the formula in Airtable, if we start from scratch, we see we have search, let's say folk. And here, if we say comma car name, it will suggest this. And that's why, you know, we can see in our table it works without quotes. So we'll copy this and paste it in WeWeb. And now it should only return the cars well, with all the Volkswagen, really, because those are the only cars where Folk isn't the car name. OK, that's a great start. But obviously, we want this to be dynamic. So instead of like hard coding it in our filter by formula field, we will bind it here. We'll have it like here. And see, now we have current value, search is not defined. That is because we need to put this, we need to tell our table it's a, it's a text. So we already have double quotes here. So we'll use single quotes to wrap our formula within this. And now we have this search again, fall. This is the format that our table expects. So if we click continue, it works. We again, go get those three um, cars that include folk in the name. All right, but this is not very dynamic. It's just folk. So we want to replace this by the value in our search bar. So instead of folk, I'll delete this and I will say double quote space, single quote space, single quote space, double quote. And we'll become clear why I'm doing this in a second. Then in between the single quotes, I will add two plus signs. And in between those plus signs, I will add my variable. Now you see that I have spaces between my quotes. So this is the reason I had those double quotes and, and single quotes is so that folk would appear in between quotes. Because if I only added the search bar value, it would say parenthesis folk comma car name without folk in between quotes. And I need, remember, I need to tell Airtable folk is in between quotes here. It won't work otherwise. OK, so now if I press continue, it will not work because I have a space before the V and after the K. And in my table, there's no space before the V and no space after the K for that matter. So I need to get rid of this space. There we go. And I will get rid of it here. The reason I want to show you with the space is so you could see that it's 
double quote, single quote, single quote, double quote. But now if I couldn't continue, it should work again. All right, we still, we have our uh, Volkswagen vehicles. And now on our search bar, we have uh, on change. So when the user types in something, we refetch the collection cars. So if instead of Volk, I say Porsche, let's say I only get the Porsche. And if I remove my search, then I get all the cars. And there is a slight delay because I included that delay. I don't have to. Um, it's usually a good experience to, when, when a user is typing in something, it's best practice to add a little debounce, a little delay, uh, because otherwise it can go too fast and create uh, two API calls very fast and um, yeah, harm your user experience. So that's how you can add filters by formula into an Airtable collection. A couple of caveats. This call is made in the front end. So if I open the inspector and I will go into preview mode and look for Porsche. And here I can see the API call being made. And if I look at the request payload, I can see the filter. So technically I could use this information to make a call using Postman or I could change the I could change the payload to request other information. So this is not meant as um, a secure backend filter like you would have in a real backend like Xano or Superbase. This is uh, you know dependent on the Airtable API and it is a front end call where the formula that you're using to make that call, you know, inside that call is visible in the user's browser. So when uh, would you want to use filter by formula? Most likely because you don't want to load too much data at once. It's not a security or privacy tool. It's a performance tool. If you're unclear about front-end filters and back-end filters, we invite you to read uh, our user documentation and to go through our dedicated videos on the topic in the WeWeb Academy, academy.weweb.io, or if you want to have a look at the user documentation, docs.weweb.io.